Hi, in this video, I'm sharing with you how to use a project management template. The template that I'm particularly sharing here has uh, a capability to handle up to 10 projects simultaneously. So at the start, you'll see this project summary sheet, which will give you details on the project start and end date, the status of the project priority, uh, what are the tasks with different departments. So this complete summary will be available at the project dashboard. When you need to go to the individual project, you just have to click on go to project and it will take you to the particular project where you will have the complete details. So to explain to you how you can use this sheet, uh, I'm just showing you your uh, blank uh, template. Uh, in this first, you will enter your project name. So I'll just double click here. So that's the name of the project. Uh, you need to mention the supervisor. Let's see. No. Double click and select a start date. Okay. Then these details will be further filled as you proceed with the entering the details for the project. Next, after that, you need to set up this category. So this details, you have to mention what are the different departments that will be working. So this section you will need to enter and these details, these two and this, the name of the project, you will need to enter over here before you proceed further. Uh, next, you have to enter the tasks which are related to the projects. I have already entered here some for the purpose of demo. After entering the task, just click on the drop down and pick up the department. So whichever department you have set up in this section will be available in the drop down menu over here. Then you can find you can decide the priority, whether it's the high, high priority, medium or low priority, assign it to a person, put a start date and an end date. As your pro project keep proceeding and you get through with the task, you have to keep on updating the how much of the percentage of the task is completed. So this will be blank again. You will need to enter how much percentage is completed. Let's say 50 or 50 only and it will calculate the duration which is required for completion of the particular task in the project based on these details your guard chart will be prepared over here so you will have a, a nice visual uh, representation of the progress of the project through this guard chart based on the details that you will be entering in this section you will be able to see uh, the priority analysis, that's how many tasks are of high priority, medium and low priority, what is an average duration for getting a task done and amongst all the tasks that we are having at what status are uh, the different tasks. So which are the ones which are like least completed, so less than 25% complete, how many of you then are completely done, 100% completed and so on and so forth. Uh, once a task is 100% completed, it will be striped out from your um, task list so you can come easily find out what is the status of the different tasks in the projects also here you will be able to see which department is having how many numbers of tasks okay another feature that's there is that you can change this view period to monthly weekly and daily so if you have a look at this card chart right now this is a monthly view if I change it to weekly you can see it has segregated into different weeks of the month similarly you can also have it daily and here you can see the status of the project for different departments through a guard chart for the on a daily basis so this comes very handy especially when you have those weekly meetings or you're following up with people you can easily uh, change through it and look at it uh, another thing that i need to mention is that uh, here these color categories that i have assigned you can change it by clicking here and fill color but the sections over here if you want to change these also you can uh, click on it and go to conditional formatting and then change the color for it. I have purposely kept it uh, in different uh, colors. Most people or mostly the project uh, management template, the grant chart is a gradient of same color, like different shades of blue. 
I personally don't find them very helpful because it gets very confusing when you look at the chart. But if they are different color, probably in the same color palette range or same shade, it uh, becomes very easy for you to track. So here if you see with these colors only, you will be able to understand that the task is associated with it, which department. That's the reason why I have kept it like this. So once you have updated these details and if you go to the project summary, you can see that all the status will be updated over here okay so your project name will appear on the top and entire status so the end date of the project and all those details will be automatically calculated uh, the link for this project management template will be uh, in the description uh, also i am writing a couple of uh, project management related topics so if you are a complete beginner and want to or learn the basics of project management, please do have a look at it. If you have any question, please let me know. Thank you.